Hello learners, today we will learn about the cell. Cell shapes. Cells are of various shapes which may be spherical, oval, elongated or columnar. Amoeba is irregular in shape and it keeps on changing its shape. Noted down, Robert Hooke coined the term cell in Latin, it means small room, Latin word for cell is cellula. Cell size The size of cell varies in different organisms. The smallest cells are of mycoplasm, that is 0.0001 mm, while the largest animal cell is the ostrich egg. The smallest cell of human body is blood platelet while the largest size cell is nerve cell. In plant, the largest cell is of green algae. Noted down, mycoplasm are small, free-living particles with characteristics of both bacteria and viruses. Types of cells. Cells are of two types, prokaryotic cells, eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells. These are the most primitive cells. They lack true nucleus and nuclear membrane. Example, bacteria, blue-green algae. Eukaryotic cell. These are the cells with true nucleus. Nucleus is always enclosed by nuclear membrane. Example, plants and animals. Structure of plant and animals. The activity of liposes take place in the cell. A typical cell consists of three parts. Cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus. Number one, cell membrane or plasma membrane. It is the thin, transparent, flexible, living membrane which form the outer boundary of the cell. It surrounds the protoplasm. Cytoplasm and nucleus together constitute the protoplasm and it is composed of lipid, fatty molecules and protein function it is semi permeable membrane that is permits only those substances to pass through that are needed by the cytoplasm second it protect the cells third it give definite shape to the cell cell wall in plant cell an addition wall called cell wall is present which surround the cell membrane it is a non living layer made up of cellulose Cell wall gives shape and rigidity to the cell and protect the protoplasm. Cytoplasm It is the part of the protoplasm present between the plasma membrane and nucleus. It is a colorless and transparent fluid inside the cell membrane. Cytoplasm contains many tiny structures called cell organelles. Cell organelles The main cell organelles present in the cytoplasm are Number 1. Mitochondria. They may be spherical, oval or rod shape. They are present in animal as well as in plant shape and are responsible for the synthesis and storage of energy released by the oxidation of food. They are also called powerhouse of the cell. The mitochondria are bounded by a double layer membrane. The inner membrane is enfolded to form mini projection which are called cristae. Inside the mitochondria, there is a hollow cavity called mitochondrial chamber. Function Their function is to generate and store energy. Second, Golgi bodies. They occur near the nucleus of the cell. Function They are involved in the cell secretion. Third, Plastids. They occur only in plant cell and are of different colors. Plant uses them for storage and manufacturing of food materials. They are of three types, chloroplast, leucoplast, chromoplast. Chloroplast, they are green chlorophyll pigment which are mainly found in leaves and green part of the stem. It helps in the synthesis of food through the process of photosynthesis. They are also called the kitchen of the cell. Second, leucoplast, they are colorless plastids and found in the storage organ. Example, potato and onion. Third, chromoplast. These are colorless plastids other than green plastids. The color of the flower and fruits are due to chromoplast. Function of plastids. 
Their main function is to manufacture and storage of food. 4. Endoplasmic reticulum. These are interconnected hollow canal found between nucleus and cell wall. The wall of endoplasmic reticulum may be smooth or rough. Function. They help in transporting the materials through cytoplasm. Rough surface endoplasmic reticulum is involved in protein synthesis. 5. Vacuoles. These are balloon-like empty structures which are present mostly in plant cells. They contain dissolved material like sugar, salt and organic acids. The fluid is called cell sap. These are temporary small size in animal cell while plant cell have a permanent single large central vacuole and surrounded by a living semi-permeable membrane called tonoplast. Function They act like reservoir of secretory and excretory material and help in water storage within the cell. 6. Centrosome they are star-shaped bodies present in pairs near the nucleus and are found only in animal cells. Each consists of two dot-like body called centrioles. Function, they help in cell division. 7. Ribosomes The rough surface of endoplasmic reticulum contains some granule structure which are spherical in shape called ribosome. Function, their main function is protein synthesis in the cell. 8. Lysosome. They occur only in animal cell and they contain some digestive enzymes. Function, lysosome provide defense against bacteria and viruses and also help in digestion. So they are called digestive bags. Nucleus. In the cell, there is a spherical body called nucleus which is the most important and act as the director. Nucleus control all the vital activity of the cell. A cell without nucleus is considered to be death and is not capable of growth and reproduction. It consists of three parts. Number one, nuclear membrane. The membrane which separates the nucleus from cytoplasm. It has certain pores which allow the exchange of materials between nucleus and cytoplasm. Second, nucleoplasm. It is the transparent fluid filled inside the nucleus. Third, nucleolus. Small spherical naked structure found inside the nucleus. It contains ribonucleic acid, that is RNA. Chromosome. They are thread-like structure and consist of deoxyribonucleic acid and protein. They bear genes that carry and transfer heredity characters from one generation to the next. Function of Nucleus Nucleus is the controlling center of the cell. It contains heredity material called genes. Gene transfer the character from one generation to the next. Nucleus also play a significant role in growth and cell division. Thank you.